And welcome back. We're back to another Let's Play of Firewatch. Uh, we're going to pick this up right here where we left off. Oh, okay. Busted our ass. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. There's another rope spot. Where am I at? Oh, okay. Medicine wheel. I need to go. I need to go that way. No, this way. Got my directions mixed up. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. No, people with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I hear music.
I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Uh, yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? So I made you just push, push, all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's... Oh, hey, what are you guys now? Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? Let's just look at the other side of the lake or something. Totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. Oh, wow. Um, the music's uh, a little loud. Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Those kids are very rude. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. 
What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what... They did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey! I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah, um... Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Keep it to a minimum, huh? I'd rather her not. Try la 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 la. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning.
I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, Stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm but maybe Debbie. you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <sighs> ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is, yep. <laughs> Interesting on the way. Got the cash. <clears throat> E452. No, there's nothing. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. You know, it's not so much a point out there. It's more the fact that he didn't say anything. Uh. Oh, south is to my station, so south it is. Or Creeper McCreeperson go.
at least it's just leaning on it, not like Damn pulling, it. pulling it down. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Um, so it's, uh... Just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Gross. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.